Bonjour, mes amis! I'm Miss Kim de la Creme, and this is my web series, Thirsty Thursday, where each week we bring you a cocktail recipe and a finger food to go along with it. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Thirsty Thursday, and it is a special edition. The husband is away, and I'm left to just drink and eat alone. So, I am exploring my Asian heritage. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have had a little Asian in me. And to celebrate, we are going to be making an Asian-inspired cocktail and one of my favorite finger foods, the egg roll. And it is going to be absolutely delicious. Now, our first thing that we're going to do is the cocktail. And I'm sorry, I just blanked on the name. Let me drink to remember. Ooh. Red Lotus, that's what it was. The Red Lotus is four simple ingredients. All it is is some lychee fruit sake, some cranberry juice, I'm using the diet because I'm a lady and I'm watching my figure. And some simple syrup. And all it is, it mine's a little brown, but whatever your sugar looks like, it's perfectly fine. I use organic sugar. I'm better than you. And all it is is sugar and water. You just melt it, and it comes together. And of course, you need vodka, which we're out of vodka. So I have to go into my emergency rations. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. This is vodka. So... We got our four simple ingredients, and all we're going to do is we're going to pour it into a shaker, which I've already loaded with ice. This is my silver bullet, and oh, it's my best friend. It keeps me warm at night, and I just love it. We're going to take our little jig, and we're going to start with our vodka. We're going to put one and a fourth ounces of vodka, and this is just straight vodka. No flavors. We don't want to water down that lychee and cranberry. No. So there's some vodka. Take a sip while you're at it. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Mama's warm. There's that. Now we're going to take our lychee sake. I went to the liquor store actually looking for lychee fruit liqueur, but of course the man didn't have what I wanted, so he was like, oh, I have sake. And well, that's what I went with. It's the same thing. You're getting the same flavor. You just have to add a bit more vodka. We're going to take an equal shot of that. Pour it right in, and put our cap back on, of course. Some cranberry juice. We're going to use an ounce of cranberry juice. Maybe a little bit more if you're not so much into the alcohol. I, myself, might as well just skip the cranberry juice. Mm, I love my vodka. And now we're going to take our simple syrup. And we'll just sweeten it up. I just kind of make it too sweet. We're just going to add just a little bit. This one's a violet squirter. And there we go. We're just going to put the cap back on. There we go. And now we simply just shake it. Ooh. I feel better. Now, we're just going to pour the cocktail. I have my glass of already prepared, of course. And just look at that color. It's a nice reddish pink. And it's just, oh, it just, mm, it just smells and looks so heavenly. Let's, let's take a sip. Mmm, mmm. It gets better with each sip. And oh, it's so refreshing. It's not too sweet. It's not too lychee fruit, which can be overpowering. So give this a try. I'm going to go chug this, I mean, drink it, of course, and we will be right back after this message from our sponsors. Gotta be the one to bite the bullet. I'm a sinner, but I bet I could have been a better man. I want to be zen, but I'm sipping on some medicine instead of meditating, but I get it when I can. Oh, I'm so excited to show you all my egg roll. It's going to be, oh, it's going to be delicious, and your mouth is just going to water at the side of it. 
All it is is a few simple things. I went ahead and started to put some oil in a pan. This is just olive oil. We went ahead and heated it up. It's about medium high heat. Oh look, it's already smoking. We're ready. We're gonna take three cloves of garlic and just stick it right in. Take that. We have a little bit of ginger, which I went ahead and chopped up. I'm gonna put some of that. And now we're just gonna let this come until it's a little bit translucent. Go ahead and mix it around. This is on my new induction hot plate, which cooks very fast. So, shouldn't take it long at all. But you just want to get just barely translucent. You don't want to go all the way overcooked or else you might just burn it. And nobody likes the taste of burnt garlic because, well, it tastes like poop. And I think we're... Ooh, we are going. So... This is chicken. All it is is a little bit of teriyaki marinade and Worcestershire sauce and salt and pepper. We're going to put this right in there. Woo. Woo. Goodness. Look at that puppy go. Now we're going to let the chicken cook all the way. Unless you like salmonella. I personally don't, so please let it cook all the way. Are you seeing the shower of oil and, ooh, goodness, not expecting that. <laughs> we'll give that a second. I'm going to step over here and just partake of my drink. Mm. Mm. All right. While we're doing that, we already took some cabbage and we went ahead and chopped that up. The cabbage chopped. And there's also a little bit of carrots. I love sticking some carrots in my cabbage. And then we're just gonna put this in here and cook it. And then we're gonna stick it in an egg roll and bake it. It's that easy. Ooh, just love these newfangled induction pans. It's already almost cooked. And this is a very easy and basic recipe and you can totally make it your own. If you like other vegetables, some alfalfa sprouts, if you don't eat chicken, put some beef and pork, put some tofu if you're one of those crazy hippies, or whatever you like to do. Ooh, just cleaning up this area, taking another drink. Ooh. Cleaning up this area, taking another drink. Ooh. Delicious. Stir my chicken up one more time. We're getting a very nice caramelization with this teriyaki marinade in it. Because it's full of some sugar, so you get a nice little caramelly taste. So it's going to be absolutely amazing. There we go. If you're wondering where my husband Nathaniel is, well, he's actually going out and buying me a food processor. If you watched last season, I've been wanting a food processor. For Processes are. <laughs> this sake can get to you. Ooh. Processor. Ooh, there we go. And he's finally going out and getting it for me. He'll be back next week, though, I promise. Alright. Now our chicken is cooked. So we're just going to take it right off just for a second just to cool it down because you don't want to put your cabbage in right away or else you'll just burn your cabbage and whew, I burned my cabbage once and don't want to do that again whew. now we're going to add in the cabbage and I love cabbage in my egg roll because it gives you a nice little crunch and, whew, it's absolutely delicious so we're going to let this cook for just a minute. You don't want to overcook it because you're also going to cook it in the oven. Now, the normal way to do egg rolls is to fry them, but once again, I'm a lady and I'm watching my figure. So we aren't going to fry this egg roll. We're simply going to bake it. And I am a huge fan of baking, but not crazy, of course. All right. Well, now it is finished. And finally got some peace and quiet around here. Now, to make the egg rolls, all you have to do is take one egg roll wrapper, which you can find in your dirty hippie section, I mean vegetarian section, and we're going to take some of our filling, 
and we're just gonna fill it up. You kind of roll it like a burrito. It's so easy to do. And make sure you get some chicken in there. You don't want to overstuff this because you do have to roll it. There we go. We got some plenty of stuffing. And now we're gonna take the sides, put it together like that, and roll it up. Make sure you tuck in the sides. The tucking is very important because you don't want to let your meat out. And now we're gonna take a little bit of water and just put it on the edge. Whew. I think my neighbors are fighting again. They are so crazy. And now your egg roll is complete. All you're going to do now is just continue making your egg rolls, put it in the oven, and then you just put it in your mouth. It's that easy. So I'm going to go put my egg roll in the oven, and we will be right back after I finish this cocktail. Ask him anything. While my egg roll is in the oven, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Ask Him Anything, where each week you can write in a little letter and, well, ask him anything. Today's letter ooh, comes from, ooh, it's my dear friend Courtney. She asks, Dear Kim, what is the legal blood alcohol level of a dog? Interesting. Well, of course, the legal blood allowance of a dog is 0.000% because, well, you can't give dogs alcohol. That's just animal cruelty. And it's also alcohol abuse because you should be enjoying that alcohol. And it sounds like you already were with that question. Once again, this was Ask Him Anything. Hmm. Ooh, that red lotus is delicious. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. It's been quite a journey full of egg rolls and red sake and ooh, all kinds of deliciousness. And with that, we will close out this episode. And go stick my egg roll in your mouth. Mm. Mm. It can get be, it can get so messy, but it's so good. Mm. Until next time, my friends, stay thirsty. <laughs>